about you, but I've got some pretty fierce predators in my neighborhood. Like once I saw a squirrel that was like this big, terrifying. Oh, and there was a spider in my basement that was huge, like sort of hairy. And don't get me started about this ferocious beast I found in my living room. I mean, I really have to watch myself around here. But okay, I will admit that the animals that live among us today are probably not as big or bad as the creatures that roamed Ohio in prehistoric times. Take for instance, the Castoroides, also known as the giant beaver. It looked a lot like today's cute little beaver that we all know and love. But as the name suggests, the giant beaver was much, much larger. In fact, it could grow as large as seven feet tall and weigh up to 276 pounds, about the size of a black bear, making it the largest rodent in North America during the Ice Age. We know about this animal because its fossils were first discovered in a swamp about 50 miles west of Columbus. By looking closely at the fossils, scientists have figured out that these beavers had much larger teeth. And since they're shaped differently, some scientists say they may not have built dams like today's beavers. Another thing scientists discovered, giant beavers did not have giant brains. Their brains were proportionally smaller than modern beavers. So giant beavers were not only big, they were big and kind of dumb. These big dumb beavers shared Ohio with some hairy elephants. You've likely heard of woolly mammoths, and we've found a few mammoth fossils. But even more common in Ohio is a very close relative, the mastodon. Mastodons called Ohio home 20,000 years ago, and they're known for their shaggy haircuts and long tusks that could extend to over 16 feet long. They were also on the menu of Ohio's first native tribes, and one of these guys could feed a lot of people. Mastodon bones have been found all over the state, including a number of complete skeletons like the Conway Mastodon, found in 1887, and the Johnston Mastodon, found in 1926 and displayed at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. But these are far from the oldest fossils that have been found in Ohio. In fact, we've uncovered animal fossils that are hundreds of millions of years old. And there's something interesting about these old fossils. They are all of aquatic animals. That's because Ohio was once covered in a shallow sea. Some of the oldest are these guys, trilobites. They lived at the bottom of Ohio's sea and had segmented bodies and exoskeletons like crabs and lobsters. We found so many trilobites here that it's Ohio's official state fossil. But many animals that shared Ohio's sea were not nearly as friendly. I'm thinking about the Dunkleosteus. Doesn't exactly look warm and cuddly, does he? Well, he wasn't you're looking at likely the meanest, scariest predator to ever swim in the ocean. Their heads were covered in thick, bony armor, which extended into sharpened fangs in the front of the mouth. These fangs, combined with an amazingly powerful jaw, made them the most feared predator in the ancient ocean, capable of chomping nearly every other species in their habitat. If you're getting freaked out, let me remind you. The Dunkleosteus has been gone a long time. They went extinct about 360 million years ago and left no true descendants. So let's all go ahead and breathe a sigh of relief.